You know, there's a lot of weirdos out there today. But I think what takes the cake is so many people out there being so upset that they can't get rid of their own people. Don't y'all want the blue invasion in America? Isn't that the goal? Where we all eat rainbow snow cones every day and we talk about little Jimmy down the street who got a sex change. That's what y'all want. So why the hell wouldn't you want more of your people, aka your babies, to be brought into this world? Oh, I forgot they're probably running low on vegan condoms so y'all haven't really been using them that much anymore. Is there no more birth control out there? I didn't get that memo. No. All of that stuff is still there. So with that stuff being out there, if you make a mistake or you're irresponsible, what makes you think you can just go get rid of a life so you don't have to wait nine months to drink wine again? Roe versus Wade was this Supreme Court decision where essentially it lets women have no fear of going out, having some casual sex, getting pregnant because they can just abort it after. Now I'm not talking about if a woman is raped if it's incest, or if the pregnancy is gonna kill the mother. But those are not common occurrences. But America is terminating pregnancies at an astounding rate because it's inconvenient. Last year, there were 63 million abortions. But look at all these people just crying because they can't get more. Hey people who can control our choices to what to do with our body. We're not gonna let these men these Supreme Court justices who think they know best, we're not going to let them take charge of our reproductive rights. This Look, I'm 100% a freedom-loving American. And freedom is doing whatever the fuck you want. Trust me, I understand that fully. The only time I'll argue something about it is if your freedoms are screwing up other people's freedoms. Like the freedom to live, the freedom to breathe, the freedom to have a chance in life. Oh, you think it's okay to have an abortion because a little fetus can't hold up a BLM sign yet. Or they can't protest and say the word screw Trump yet. You don't think it's killing. You don't think it's murder. Why? Well, because you go into a nice, comfy doctor's office with a guy named Dr. Clint Labia. They put you out so you don't see anything happening. You don't see what comes out. They probably give you a nice pat on the ass. Good job! And then you're back to your weekend, shotgunning white claws and grinding on some dude named Chad. There, we are not putting policy in charge of our decisions. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Do you know how many families are on an adoption list? It's one to two million families. One to two million families who would probably give their leg to be able to have a child in their life that they can call their own. Imagine how they feel about all of this. Someone who legitimately can't make their own blood. I mean, the least someone can do is go through the nine months and then gift a God-given child to a family. But no, unfortunately, we live in a society nowadays where everything has to be quick and easy. Oh, you want a new pair of shoes? Well, it takes 15 minutes to the mall, then we gotta find a parking spot. Oh, wait a second, we can just order it off Amazon. What's 10 times 596.8? Oh, hang on, let me get this piece of paper out. Carry the one. Oh, never mind, we can just ask Siri. Oh, you wanna get rid of a 12-week-year-old human? Yeah, it's just three doors down on the left. Ask for Dr. Coca-Cola. If you're white, he gives you an extra lollipop at the end. I have a question for everybody who's like, no, we need to get these. We need to get rid of our own blood. How do you justify vacuuming your own blood out of your womb? But you have a problem when folks like me hunt. Oh my God, you eat deer? How dare you kill a living thing for food? But then the next day you're at the clinic. Oh, but it's different for you because there is no logic attached to the way that you think. If you look at these protests and you had no idea what was going on, at this point, I would have thought that the government is mandating abortions and people are pissed because they can't have kids. What if that were to happen? Would y'all just have a big old party? So you have the freedom to do what you want with your body. I won't argue that. But us as a nation, we don't have to get behind your illogical thinking. So, you want one that bad? Go do it yourself. What? How? What? Seriously. If it is that much of a detriment to your life, 
Do it yourself. Have your boyfriend get a nice manicure, have him stick his arm up there, and you watch what comes out. And while you're watching all of it go down, you're gonna see a human that was not given a chance to breathe, and it was not given a chance to live with the same freedoms that you and I have, because it was an inconvenience. Then you tell me if it's murder or killing.